If you are lacking motivation to work out, watch this video. I wanna show you how to build a burning desire to work out so that you can achieve your goals. I'm Action Jacqueline, welcome to my YouTube channel where I help you feel your absolute best every day and I'm so excited that you're here. And the reason why this video is so important is because if you're lacking a motivation to work out or you just don't feel like moving your body and working out, it doesn't mean that you don't deserve the goals that you have for yourself. It doesn't mean that you're not worthy of losing weight, of feeling your best, of having the best body that you you possibly can. The reason why you may not feel like doing the things that you need to do in order to achieve your goals is something called homeostasis. Every single human being and animal on this planet has homeostasis, which is just the innate desire to stay the same, to do what's familiar to you. So we do what we know and we avoid what we don't know. And this explains all of your behavior. And this also explains why create a new habit for yourself can feel so difficult and feel like this uphill battle. First of all, just know that if you've tried something, you made a goal for yourself and it didn't work out, it is not your fault. But I'm gonna show you in this video how this simple process can actually help you overcome that feeling and build a burning desire to work out. So I'm gonna share a story with you with my client that I worked one-on-one -on -one with and she came to me and she said, Jacqueline, I, I have this goal of losing weight. I'm sick of feeling like this. I had my son so many years ago and I gained weight and I never lost it. I just don't feel like myself. I have aches and pains, I'm tired, blah, 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 all these things, right? But I don't have the motivation to working out. I just don't feel like it. Like I want to work out, but I don't wanna work out, <laughs> you know? So I'm sure you can relate to this, right? We've all felt like this. So this is what I told her to do. I said, okay, for this week, this is what you're gonna do. Day one, you're gonna take your workout clothes, you're gonna put them out the night before, someplace you can see them, go to bed, wake up, look at them, but don't put them on. Don't put them on, don't work out. Now, put them away, go about your business. Now the next day, you're gonna put your clothes out the night before, go to bed, wake up, now you're gonna look at them and you're gonna put them on, but you're not gonna work out, don't work out. Then you're gonna take them off, put them away. Next day, you're gonna take your clothes, put them out the night before, wake up, put them on, you're gonna just sit in your car, but you're not gonna actually go to the gym. And then the next day, you're gonna go in your car, you're gonna drive to the gym, but don't go in, don't work out. Next day. Go to the gym, but you can't work out. You're not gonna work out. You're gonna go drive back home, repeat all that again. And then the next day, now you can go to the gym, but you're only gonna do one thing. You're just gonna even walk around, look at everything there. Maybe touch your weights, touch your booty band. Repeat all that again. The next day, now you're only gonna work out for a couple minutes. Don't work out more than that. That's it, only a couple minutes. Do that all again the next day. You're only gonna work out five minutes. You can't work out more than five minutes. So this was over the next week. She came back to me and she could not believe how much she was dying to work out. Like she was so surprised at how much desire she had to work out. She goes, I wanna work out so badly. She's like, when can I actually work out? When can I do like a full workout? So we kept incrementally just increasing it just by five, 10 minutes every day. Now, I mean, she's crushing it with her goals. She's working out. It's the best part of her day. And we utilize this principle that we all are familiar with, right? If I told you, you can't do something, what do you wanna do? You wanna do the thing that I just told you you can't do, right? We're all wired like this. And so we utilize this principle to our best advantage of building a desire to work out so that you can achieve your goals and you can feel your best. So here's what I want you to do tonight so that you can start working out right away. Step one, you're gonna lay out your clothes the night before, go to bed, wake up, look at the clothes, and you're not gonna put them on. Just look at them and then put them away. The next day, you're going to do the same thing. Put them out so that you can see it, go to bed, wake up, look at them, put them on. We're going step by step. Then the next day, you're gonna do the same thing and you're going to just go to wherever it is that you're working out. Maybe it's your home gym, just roll out your mat. If it's a gym, just go into the car, just that first step of it. Then the next day, you're going to just kind of walk around that gym area. So if it's your home area, I just want you to look at your mat, spend a little time in the space of it, but you're not allowed to work out. And then the next day, you're going to add just a couple of moves, maybe a push up or a squat. That's it, you're not allowed to work out. Don't work out. The next day, repeat all that again. And then you're only allowed to work out for a couple minutes. Don't work 
work out any longer than that. Then the next day, repeat all that. You're only allowed to work out five minutes. Don't work out any longer. I don't care if you're feeling amazing and you're on fire, you have to stop at five minutes. You're gonna repeat that process until you get up to 30 minutes. I mean, by five minutes, 10 minutes, you are going to be burning with desire to work out. And I'm so excited for you to try this out because I'm sure you've never tried this before. I'm sure you've never even heard of this before. Imagine what can be possible for you when you build this innate desire and you're just gonna start crushing your goals every single day. And part of this process Process is having those clothes out ready for you to put on to feel good about yourself so if you don't have any clothes then I highly recommend that you invest in yourself and you give yourself an excuse of working out by buying new fitness clothes build that desire with buying new clothes my favorite brand is Fabletics I'm sponsored by them because I love the brand so much I love the clothes they're so affordable but they make you feel really good they have all kinds of leggings and fabrics and bras and shirts and long sleeves and jackets and Sherpas, like everything you could ever imagine. And I've got a really special deal for you in the description box below where you can save lots of money and still look and feel your best. I can't wait for you to try out this process and build that desire to work out so that you can achieve your goals. I'm Action Jacqueline. Comment down below. Let me know what you learned and what ends up happening when you do this whole process. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me to be able to create more videos like this for you. I will see you in the next video. Bye.